Howdy folks, it's Adriel, the hunting gear guy. And this is the Spectre wow. Ballistics C71 in their chassis as well. Uh, the C71 is the receiver part up here. Uh, and it's a 1022 receiver. You can see that it's empty there. I've got nothing in the chamber. Um, a couple of interesting things. I'm just going to make a rapid review on this one because uh, it is a very interesting receiver, but uh, it is just a 1022 receiver. Um, things I like on it. One, it's got a, an extended rail that goes out past the front there. A common issue on these Ruger 1022s is that when you mount a scope on them and you use the factory uh, rail, uh, you can't quite get far forward enough and you need to scrunch your head back because the, uh, the scope doesn't go far enough forward for you to get proper eye relief. Uh, see it all the time in maple seeds. Um, so generally with these things, you gotta like crank the scope right up forward. A uh, little bit of extra space on the front is all you really need, and uh, makes a big difference. Now, <laughs> because this is on a, st it's got an adjustable stock, so I guess we we solve that issue uh, right then and there. Because then we can uh, uh, set that thing to correct uh, eye relief uh, just using the stock alone. Um, that might become an issue for some people for uh, uh, length of pull. Um, so maybe like someone with short arms might not be able to shoot it with this, this, this thing with that stock out long. But with this amount of rail here, we've got lots of space to move the scope forward. And the other interesting thing about this receiver is that it's been modified so that it, from the factory to take Tough 22 magazines, which are not made for the Ruger Charger. Therefore, they're not limited to 10 rounds. Boy, we got some silly rules here in Canada. Oh. Um, otherwise, if you just run the Ruger mags here in Canada, 10 rounders only. You can't run more than that. Um, all in all, cool receiver. They come in a bunch of different styles and colors like uh, green on, on this one. <laughs> um, one thing that I did find is that the magazine well doesn't have... Usually they have like a little ramp, a little broken edge here. This one's just got a flat edge. Um, some of the magazines, as you try to insert them stop and don't want to go in They're actually catching on that ledge so that's this edge of this nut uh that they have on here or allen key bolt or whatever and it's catching on this ledge here um the critical part of the lockup is inside there so you could break this edge i think that's something that i might recommend for specter is just to break that edge a little bit um, if you look at a standard ruger 1022 magwell they will the, that edge will be uh, ramped a little bit just to make it easier to insert magazines so that they don't catch up in there um, otherwise you have to kind of push back on it so that they uh, they go in there all in all cool receiver um i got really good accuracy with this one this is my uh my buddy dave's from foothill firearms and he's got a delask barrel on it and uh, it was getting like really good accuracy for me um, it's in this uh, chassis. I've already reviewed this chassis before. One of the interesting things this one does is that it clamps in on the middle here, um, which should, should give you a little bit more uh, stability because not only do you have that bolt up there, but you also have that clamping action in the middle and that uh, that cross bolt to, uh, to help with holding this all together. Um, cool little rifle and I uh, thought I'd just do a nice quick review on it. Thanks for watching.